uh, you do not want to be beholden uh, to other nations uh, because that will destroy your currency and then you have no society. And as you see today, the de-dollarization is rapidly expanding. Uh, BRICS obviously coming out with their own currency. Uh, the digitization of currency, uh, the central bank, CBDCs, uh, coming out with their own currencies. China coming out with their own version, uh, their own crypto. Uh, I'm telling you, there is so much flux. And I'll say, I will say, in all of human history, usually when a declining world empire and the ascending world empire, there's usually about a 30-year transition. And instead, it's happening in weeks, not decades or generations. And so there is so much rapid change in the world today that no one person controls it the way it used to be. Uh, so I believe that on our domestic policy, econ economy is number one. By the way, a strong economy is one of the greatest measures that I can take to secure us nationally as well. Our defense, one of our best defenses is a strong dollar. We use sanctions. Uh, we've used sanctions like candy in the past. Uh, and I will say that, you know, sometimes they're warranted and, and, I, and, and for sure, sometimes they are overbearing and not warranted. But I can tell you that I would rather sanctions than war. I am for peace. Uh, I will fight and defend whatever we have to in terms of our national interest and American citizens every time. But I am for peace, and I would rather use nonviolent uh, strategies uh, to achieve our ends. But you cannot do that if you have a weak dollar. You're forced to just fight because that's all you have, which is why most of the world does fight. We've been able to use some other things to try to stay out of conflicts. But uh, the de-dollarization is a huge issue. The inflation is a huge issue. And uh, so I believe, though, having a strong economy through energy development and through eliminating the debt uh, will solve these problems. And it also secures America.